Well, hello everybody. My name is Tom Boone, Associate Director with the Outreach Foundation, and we are here with the Presbyterian Education Board in Lahore, Pakistan, staying at their guest house. And I've got the real pleasure to introduce to you all David and Sue Hudson. Uh, and I'm not going to really seal that introduction from you. Just tell us a little bit about yourselves. Okay. Uh, well, David and I have been, uh, we are honorably retired Presbyterian missionary, uh, Presbyterian ministers, and also have spent a lot of our life in mission work. Um, but I'm going to let David take it from there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we've had a tremendous journey uh, living and working and serving as missionaries in Korea, Pakistan, India. I live in Japan now and I'm working with the Presbyterian <laughs> Church there. But we're here in Pakistan, Tom and the team here. Uh, and Pakistan's been a big part of our lives. Uh, I've worn several hats coming in and out of Pakistan over a period of time, and Sue's been deeply involved in education and, and training here. So uh, it's been a privilege to be here this week and, and kind of reconnect with a lot of friends and relationships memories and stories and laughter and uh, seeing children, uh, seeing people that help raise our children here. Wow. We came wow. here with three small girls in Muslim culture, Pakistan, and uh, we lived in this room. You can't That's see it. Right. We right. lived right. in this room. I'll tell one short story. If I'm yeah, sure. So okay. we lived in this room where Sue and I are now staying. It's 101 in the guest house. And when we came here, we had the three young girls and the uh, there were, I think there were only four beds, and there were five of us, and there were charpies, which are rope string beds, and so every night, we, I would get a little game, and we'd draw straws to see who got a bed by really? themselves. Oh, you know, that's, that. okay. <laughs> that, that's a great missionary story. <laughs> so, you know, those are some of the things. And if it, I ever got the single bed to myself, the littlest one, Mary, always jumped she in. She would yeah, find yeah. a way. Well, so, so our story dates back a number. It of does, years, yeah. and it shows. And one yeah. of the places that one of the things that we did yesterday, we spent all day in this place called Sangla Hill, mm. uh, which is about a two-hour drive uh, northwest of of where we are now. Uh, I don't want to spend any time more than just say that's where we were. Mm -hmm. um, and each of you had a point of connection. So, Dave, let's start with you, and then uh, Sue. Yeah, but my connection was, was at the early stages of when I was the interim director of PEB, and, and we would go there for evaluations of the schools, visiting, seeing how things were going. But also then when denationalization came, we were scrambling to assess what was the status of the Sun Hill system. Mm. And it was pretty shabby, but it was a big 16 acres, okay. and, and part of it was uh, occupied and all. And so what's happened has been this grand transformation of the property built up, restructured, and it's a wonderful story because it's resonated with so many people. Mm -hmm. Presbyterian mm -hmm. women have put in their birthday offering, right, right. numerous churches and individuals. Uh, uh, Dr. Mike Medley raised money for that. We've heard these wonderful stories. So God is working in a multiple ways, multiple layers, multiple lives and entities to bring this about. It. And the fruit of it, I mean, yesterday... <laughs> The, the principal, the director of the Sangha schools got up and, you know, we had all this pageantry and the hoopla that, yes, that is yes. pretty typical, it's wonderful. But then her daughter, who's a student in the school, stood up and was speaking to us. Yes. And then on the way out, we were walking back out and her, her little son came up and he was mm -hmm. 10 years old. So it's this generational yeah. thing yeah. where the, the, the value, the Christian values are instilled that's, in that. That's correct. And, and, and you just see this generational goodness going on, and, and that's where we give God the praise and the glory. Uh, it, it, and the people will be the first to tell you it's, it's God working through them. Thanks, Aaron. So you had a particular point of connection where you see God at work as Absolutely well. Absolutely, empowerment of women, and they had a, a little group called She Shaw, the self self empowerment of women, because in this culture, women have no power, basically. But they bring in children that have no opportunity, and these young women, they teach them how to do, uh, educate them all different capacities to create their own businesses and to get things going. But even the director, Vita Javed, I mean, her mother was in one of those hostels at that school. She wouldn't be doing, she couldn't be who she is. Presbyterian Education Board wouldn't be here if it weren't for Sangla Hill and the, the generations passing mm -hmm. on. And so we're just grateful that women have a voice and they are being empowered at that place. And I, I can't 
I can't even put in words how moved I am to see the change in 25 years, how free, how confident women are becoming. Yeah, you've done a very good job putting it into words. And, but I think what I saw, the body language, the appreciation on both of your all's parts and the people who knew you way back when. Um, this has been great. Thank you for Thank this you. visit. And uh, we will continue to bring vlogs to you all. Uh, thanks for following us and for praying for uh, our visit and for those whom we're meeting. Bye-bye.